Hey guys, we're going to do a video today about the uh, DDJSX run-in tractor. So I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible and doing things with one hand as well too. So you go to Pioneer DJ, if we can uh, zoom in on that, there we go. Go to Pioneer DJ, go up to your products, crack that open, we're going to go over to controllers. And forgive the slow internet. There is the old DDJ SZ. And you know what? When I get to work, I'm going to um, actually do a video with the SZ and tractor because I'm sure somebody's going to want to know that. So we'll pick the, oops, sorry, pick the wrong one. Don't want that. Back up. Pick the SZ. And, okay. And the TSI is where exactly? You know what? It looks like we have to go under support. That's good because, you know, you guys will be questioning me like, oh, guy, I couldn't find it. And there's a support site loading up. Scroll down, 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 and we see. DDJ, there it is. SX, go down to software download. If you can get in there and there, software download. I know you guys probably wonder why I use a shitty phone to do this because it's just as faster to get stuff up and I don't have to do much. So, and we have it right there. We can. Oh, it's just getting fucking worse. What a bitch, man. The new Note 3 sucks, man. Seriously. There we go, sort of. Whatever. It's fucking right there. Set and file for Tractor Pro. Probably shouldn't have done this tonight. Not in the mood for this shit. This is going to take a little while. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mac OS X. Agree with the ship. Who knows what it says and who really cares? And we're going to do this for a Mac because I have a Mac. Downloads pretty damn fucking fast. So, okay. Well, let's crack open tractor. One of the things I'm not going to bother. Open up the shit. Never mind the wires. I had to unhook all this shit recently. So on your SX, turn it off. And you have to hold. Uh, shifting Q, I think, when you turn it on. Just hold on a second. I'll be right back. You can only do this with one hand, right? Okay, we're back. And I'm a liar. It was actually shift and play that you have to hold while you're powering it on. And you'll know that that worked because what you'll have, as you can see, I got scratch open, but... Doesn't matter. These buttons here are lit up and you see this. So what you want to do is that's the button right there that puts it into MIDI mode. So it's lit up. Just turn it off. I'm going to go back to tractor and let's make this a little bigger. Go in here. And I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to import. So I say import, I go to my downloads because that's where it downloaded to. And I wonder where that damn thing, there. and there we go right there, see? It's right at the bottom, the Pioneer DDJSX. Hopefully you can make that out. Let's open it. Hit OK. And I go into my controller manager. And you see all these things, they say NA beside them, right? Well, that's because I need to turn this unit back on. Let 
And what happens as I turn it on, you see there where it says Pioneer. If you can, yes. And when we look beside, all the in and out ports are all Pioneer. So far, so good. Wait for this to shut down. You know what? After you load up this mapping, because it has so much to it, your tractor is going to be a little bit slower than you're used to for uh, going into your settings. And if I use my browse knob here, and yep, I'm turning the knob, and as you see, that's turning. Um, hit my load, loads into deck A, hit my play. And one thing we have to do here is we have to tell, go back up to the preferences, takes a second to kick in now because of this mapping. Because this is run on an i7, so. But go to audio setup and change that to be your Pioneer. I think that should work. And, uh, Touch strip works. Everything works. So when you get into the effects, I forget what they all do, but so that's a freeze echo. Always a handy one. Different delays. That's a filter thing. So you have all your rolls in the bottom, and you only need four. They're backwards from what the DDJSX is, but... And then when you do all four, you get that turntable stop. That's a neat trick. Go into the slicer mode, that's a bunch of effects too, I think. Phasers, delays. Digital lo-fi, filters, gator. And I'm sure the sampler is um, probably set for the remix decks, I bet. Uh, we'll see, let's look, just drag whatever in here because you can. Yeah, that's exactly what that's for. Um, just a little bit of the track here. And just give your faders a little kind of kick in to make sure they're all going, you know what I mean? Crossfader works, of course. Sync buttons. Turn the trim down on that. Shit's all redlining here. But that's it, man. That's the uh, the video for the DDJSX uh, running tractor. I've made a video before, but I thought I'd do another quick one just to make sure everybody understands how easy it is to do. And that's it. Talk to you guys soon.